Hey guys, this is Blendmaster here with another tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to create these bubbles inside of Blender. And this background image I created in Blender also, and I'll be making a tutorial on this uh, sometime later. But for now, I'm just focusing on the bubbles. So first thing we're going to do is go to the delete this lamp, and then I'm going to go to the second layer, and I'll go to front view and orthographic view. I'm just going to add a simple UV sphere. I'll just press, uh, I'll add a subdivision surface modifier, set it to 2, and smooth. And I'm going to add a meta ball too. So I'll press Shift A, meta ball, ball. I'm just going to move this around here, tap into edit mode, and press Shift D. And the reason I'm using meta balls is because when you move these around, the closer they are, they attach to each other and when they're apart they don't connect but if you're using spheres like this they would just overlap and wouldn't do anything so that's why I'm using the metal balls because you can create interesting bubble like shapes so after I create a shape I like I'm just gonna select it tab out edit mode and press alt C and mesh and then just press alt G so it goes to the center then I'm going to do uh, add another metal ball and do this again and create some different shapes. And you can create as many shapes as you want and as random as you want because in the end result all that matters is the how random it is and the material you create for it. So I'm just going to do one more. I'm going to scale up the bottom too like that. I'm just going to tab or tab out and convert it to a mesh. And I'm converting it by pressing Alt C. So now I'm just going to move these out. And for the meta balls, I'm just going to add a subdivision surface modifier. And the shortcut for that is pressing Control 2. And I'm just going to make hide the visibility so that way when we create a particle system, it won't slow down our entire uh, viewport. I'm just going to select all of these um, bubbles here and press Control G and name the group bubbles. Now I'm going to go back to the first layer, select this cube, and add a particle system. And I'm going to change the end to 1 so that all of the particles spawn in the very beginning and stay there. And I'm going to bring the number down to about 500. And I'm also going to change it to emit from volume so that it's inside the cube and I change the emitter geometry normal to zero. So down here I'm going to uncheck emitter and I'm also going to select group and select bubbles and then I'll check rotation and I'll go to front view, orthographic view and I'm going to scale down the size a lot and bring out the random size to 1 and I'll select pick random so that the uh, bubbles are picked randomly and I'll check rotation up here and increase the randomness to 1 and the phase to 1 so now they're completely randomly rotated and I'll just snap the camera to view put it in the center of our scene and zoom out to about here so I think that's good and now I'm just going to add a plane and this will be our light but to make it emit light we're going to go to cycles and give it an emission material and make it pure white I'm also going to scale this up by 2 and move it up on the z-axis to about there and now I'm going to go over to the second layer again and add a new material for the sphere and call it bubble and then I'll select everything in the sphere last and press Control L and select materials. And what this does is it makes every object have the same exact material. So now we can edit this material and it will be the same for all of them. So I'm just going to go to front view on the first layer and go to camera view and make the background black. And since the sphere is still selected we can edit its material and I'm going to open up the node editor. Then I'll just press Shift Z so we can see what it's doing to this group of particles. And what we want to use is a glossy shader. 
to get some reflections. So I'm going to press Shift A, Shader, Glossy, and I'm going to change the roughness to zero so it's a nice sharp reflection. And I also want to mix this with the transparent shader. And there. And I don't want this background color to be pure black because otherwise it doesn't look right. So I'm just going to bring it up a little bit and then make it a nice dark blue. And I'm going to make the background color transparent. And you can start to see that the bubbles have a bluish tint, which makes it look like it's underwater. And that's good. But now I want to um, change the factor of the how the glossiness and transparent are mixing. I don't want them to mix 50-50. I want to use a layer weight node. So I'll press Shift A, go to Input and Layer Weight, and we're going to use the facing value of this. And I'm just going to bring this down to 0.1. And that's it. It looks good, I think. But I need to switch these two. And you can immediately see that the bubbles start to look a lot more realistic and transparent. So this is the effect I was going for. And now I'm just going to add a new image as plain and it's going to be that sound wave picture I created earlier. I'm going to change it to emission, close this window, and I'll go back to solid view and rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees and go back, bring it behind all of the bubbles, go into the camera view and scale it up. So now we have a nice background and it's also emitting some color to give the bubbles some nice variation in color. So that's pretty much it. If you don't want this background in the final image you can come over here and where it says ray visibility uncheck camera so that way the background is still transparent but you get the nice color that it gives the bubbles. So I'm just going to keep it because I like it and I'm going to come over here to where it says samples and change it to 250 and I'm just going to change the tiles to 16 by 16 and render it out. Now I'll pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay so the picture is done rendering and as you can see we have some nice realistic bubbles with these random shapes and it looks pretty nice and it took about a minute and a half for this to render and to save it I'll just press F3 and save it as bubbles and that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed I'd like to see your results in the comments below and if you have any suggestions for future tutorials feel free to leave them in the comments as well thanks for watching and bye